hello hello everybody welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new we have got another what's for dinner for you guys this is where i share what my family eats for the previous week i share real life realistic dinners with you guys nothing fancy just feeding my family if you like that kind of content definitely consider hitting that subscribe button and the big thumbs up that really helps me out a lot but let's go ahead and get cooking y'all On Sunday night we had leftovers we had a church luncheon that day and so we had leftover chili as well as some leftover sandwiches so we just helped ourselves and ate leftovers on Monday night I made cheesy sausage pasta I did share this earlier in the week so I will have this video linked down below in case you missed it you guys this was so good so you definitely need to check out that video On Tuesday night, I made a big pot of pinto beans or soup beans, whatever you call them. Normally, I share my crock pot recipes separate, but this was actually the only crock pot recipe that turned out this week. So, I won't have a separate video to share with you guys um, until later on. But um, I always soak my beans overnight. I was always taught to do that. I still do that. And from what I've read, it breaks down the beans and it makes it easier to digest and it takes like toxins and whatever out um now you do you it's your kitchen your rules if you don't agree that's totally fine so i just soak one bag of pinto beans overnight and then i just make sure to wash check for stones or whatever and then i just add those into my crock pot i cover them really good with water and then i add in a ham hock and then i like to add my seasonings other than salt um, I add the salt later once they start cooking and breaking down, but I like to add chicken bouillon, garlic powder, onion powder, um, pepper, you know, just season with your heart. You got to make sure to give your food some flavor. Um, so I season it up and then I just cook it on low for about 10 hours and they are really delicious. So here's what they look like after about 10 hours and what i like to do is i like to take and ladle a few ladles full of the beans and i take and I blend them up and that way it kind of thickens up and then i'll add that back into the pot of beans and let it sit for about 30 minutes like i said just so you it kind of like naturally thickens it up um of course you don't have to do that if you like them soupier or if you want them thicker you know you could also add in a cornstarch slurry if you wanted to but i prefer just blending them up and adding them in And then I put my lid on sideways, that way it kind of naturally vent, and that way it helped thicken up as well. I just served it with some cornbread, and supper was done. Super delicious, comfort food. On Wednesday night, I fixed some sweet chili barbecue chicken. This is one of my personal favorites. I will have this recipe linked down below for you guys, but it is super easy. I have got six boneless, skinless chicken thighs there. You can use bone-in, but I just prefer boneless and skinless. And then I'm just going to season that up with some Badia Complete. You can use any all-purpose, you know, seasoning that you like. And then for the sauce, we're going to go ahead and mix together equal parts of the sweet chili and then whatever your favorite barbecue sauce is. I already had this um, barbecue sauce open and I needed to use it up in the fridge. We're just going to mix that together, sit that aside while the chicken is in the oven. I'm just going to cook it at 350 for about 20 minutes, take it out, and then we will coat it with some barbecue sauce, put it back in the oven for about five to 10 minutes. Of course, check temperature. You just want to make sure that the internal temperature of the chicken when it's completely done is 165 don't forget to spoon on any sauce or whatever you're adding on to your meat because your meat is not completely cooked so if you take and dip that 
brush into the sauce and then back onto the chicken you are cross contaminating and you are putting raw chicken juices in your sauce so what i do is i take and just spoon it on make sure that it doesn't touch and then i will wash my pastry brush in between each time To go along with it, I cooked up our favorite mac and cheese. This is the Kraft Cauliflower one. It is so good if you've never tried it. I normally coat my chicken about two times with the barbecue sauce. Now this one, you can see that I am using my spoon and that is because I'm done with it and I'm just going to wash it out so I don't have to worry about cross-contamination. And here's what it looks like when it was all done. This is my personal favorite way to do a barbecue baked chicken. I love the combination of the sweet chili and the barbecue sauce. It gives it really good flavor. We've got our mac and cheese and then we had some leftover beans from the night before. So we also had that as a side. On Thursday night, we had a recipe fail. This was a crock pot recipe. My family did not care for it, so I will not be sharing it. Um, it was out of a cookbook, so I'm not gonna worry about like linking it or anything for you guys. But to go along with it, um, I fixed some pepperoni roll-ups. I think everybody knows how to make these. They're super easy, definitely kid-friendly, and we all really enjoyed them. And it's funny because I made two rolls of crescent dough because I wanted to have leftovers for Winston to take for lunch and there was no leftovers. Everybody ate them all. I did half pepperoni and half cheese. I put them in a 350 degree oven for about eight to 10 minutes. Once they were almost done, I took them out and coated them with some garlic butter. I took and melted, I had like a little bit of that country crock left, the tub butter, and um, I put it in the microwave and added in some garlic um, powder and some Italian seasoning, coated them up, put them back in there for a couple minutes, and they were so good. Here is what they look like when they were all done. Even though we had a dinner fail, at least we had something to eat. On a Friday night, it was just me and Winston for supper. I thought I would take him to McDonald's and go get some Halloween Happy Meals. We both got chicken nuggets and french fries. On Saturday night, we actually ate out. We went to a fall festival at my best friend's work. So Winston had two hot dogs and then I had two pulled pork barbecue tacos from a local food truck. And that's it, that wraps up today's video. I really hope you enjoyed these super easy and delicious weeknight dinner ideas. Just remember, it doesn't have to be fancy just as long as your family is fed. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.